very long question. I'm going to jump in and, and address it. I, I think of two things. Will I you think of the question first. Yeah, uh, she's asking about <laughs> not all of it. Just what what general. her obligations are, or or what a person obligations are to report something that they observe that is not right. You made the example of a, a real estate environment, an inspection that's being done of a. I'm assuming it's a home. Oh, they were selling the home. Okay, a home that was being sold. There were some what appeared to be some some activities going on in the home. Well, that represents a, a two sources of liability. Number one, it's an unsafe place for that person to find himself, herself, even stepping into as a result of their own exposures and, and uh, anything that, that they can expose themselves to uh, from third parties. In addition to making the report, letting somebody know at the law enforcement level, uh, community service level, that, that there is a problem there. Uh, enough attention needs to be given to that part of law enforcement. And, and uh, I omitted to say that about the example in, in El Paso. They have an, a very active community policing effort there that is not just about neighborhood watch, but they have very active business watch programs that involve people and their working environments and the uncertainties that they feel about things that they see and so forth. So if those things are reported, somebody knows, somebody has the ability to take action. But if people don't report those things, people aren't ever going to know. Um, I, I did have the opportunity to, to meet some individuals from, from one of the local police departments. I'm not going to go into details, and, and I felt that... Uh, their community policing unit was, was one person, and, and, and this was a, a pretty seriously large department. I was, I was amazed that there was one individual devoted to community policing for a very large geographic area. I'm sorry, you, you had something else? Here, here's my understanding about some of that issue. If you're, if you're talking about a meth lab, because I'm not familiar with a lot of the other stuff, but as far as we hold your microphone up. as far as a real estate agent's uh, liability, to my knowledge, you don't have any. Uh, and, and there are some laws that are being discussed about realtors' responsibilities. Uh, there are some disclosure forms now that have a checkbox that the homeowner is supposed to willfully offer up that information. If, to your knowledge, there's ever been a meth lab in this house. <clears throat> and uh, I, I know the last two houses I bought, I've talked to my realtors about them, and, and they were aware of that disclosure form that has the meth lab line on it. I don't really know how much value that is, because if you're cooking meth at your house, you're probably not going to disclose it to anybody. Uh, you've already passed that whole moral obligation a long time ago. So uh, to my knowledge, the real estate agents don't have any responsibility. There are some tests that can be performed. Uh, to help ease your mind, but uh, that's certainly outside the scope of any crime lab situation or law enforcement situation. That's a civil issue that will probably stay in the civil field for a, in the civil area for a long time. 